Hello, friends. Australia is a unique place and home to a huge number of unusual animals. Today, this continent is associated with an abundance of poisonous snakes, spiders, and other dangerous creatures. In recent years, however, there's been an addition to this list of monsters. This creature doesn't play by the local rules because it was brought there from another continent. It is distinguished by its enormous size, extreme gluttony, and the most effective methods of protection. Having produced a multi-million strong army, these animals are driving out the indigenous inhabitants at an incredible speed. So today, we'll talk about some real foreign invaders. This is a spider runner, a calculating, fast and skillful hunter for insects and amphibians and is also one of the most venomous spiders in the world. Its toxins paralyze the prey and dissolve it from the inside. However, in the world of predators, size often plays the decisive role. And the animal featured in our story today, the cane toad, is the perfect proof of this fact. The dimensions of this amphibian are really impressive. The toad can sometimes weigh over one kilogram, with an average body length of about 16 centimeters, reaching 20 centimeters in rare cases. Interestingly enough, females are larger than males. These amphibians have adapted to surviving in the harshest conditions. They easily endure drought by burying themselves in the sand and returning to the surface with the onset of the rains. The cane toad's appetite is so great that it eats everything it comes across. It devours not only insects, but also lizards, chicks, small mammals, and plants. It doesn't mind eating carrion and waste. In the absence of other food, these toads even can engage in cannibalism. It's difficult to avoid its clingy tongue, and its attack speed reaches three meters per second. Of course, the cane toad is far from the top of the food chain and can also be hunted, but these amphibians protect themselves extremely well. A hungry snake looks forward to an easy prey, but then something goes wrong. The thing is that the toad has poisonous glands on both sides of its head. In case of danger, they release powerful toxins that can ruin most predators' appetites. In addition, there are many tiny poisonous glands on its back and head skin. Sensing a threat, the toad immediately ejects poison at the enemy. Afterwards, the cane toad gets back to its usual activities while the snake reaps the fruits of its unsuccessful hunt. What's interesting is that toads cannot control the amount of food they consume and cannot bite off food in pieces. They always swallow the whole of it. Therefore, sometimes dead toads are found with half a snake in the stomach and the other half outside. Toads simply suffocate, unable to eat such a large prey. The historical homeland of the cane toads is the forests of Central and South America. In 1935, they were brought to Australia in order to exterminate reed beetles, which ate the precious sugar cane. But the plan failed miserably. Instead of the elusive beetles, the toads took on more accessible food. The poisonous properties of this amphibian aggressor have been underestimated. In addition to pests, Indigenous amphibian species and domestic animals also suffered from the cane toad's poison. Over time, the 100 to 200 imported guests turn into thousands and then into millions of constantly hungry creatures. These toads prefer to live in damp and warm climates, staying near water bodies or swamps. However, they can also be found on sandy shores. The toad spends all daylight hours in the shade, hiding in tree trunks, under stones, and in fallen leaves. At nightfall, the amphibians go hunting. Reproduction mainly happens during the rainy seasons, when temporary reservoirs are formed. Males gather in stagnant or slow waters and call the females with cries resembling loud purrs. The female lays from 4 to 35,000 eggs in one season. Once the eggs are laid and fertilized, toads abandon them. Both the eggs and tadpoles are toxic to most animals and to humans. This poses a huge threat to the entire ecosystem. 
The tadpoles of the cane toad are of a black color and disproportionately small in comparison with adults. Large tadpoles sometimes eat eggs of other cane toads. Metamorphosis occurs 2 to 20 weeks after hatching. They reach sexual maturity between the ages of 1 and 1 and a half years. Cane toads live up to 10 years in nature and up to 15 years in captivity. Only one half of a percent of toads hatch from eggs survive to reproductive age. A cautious predator can sense that something is wrong, letting its dinner go. A particularly persistent animal pays the highest price for the easy meal. Meanwhile, the predators of Central and South America have become less susceptible to the toad toxins over years of evolution and can now successfully eat them, regulating the population. However, the situation is very different in Australia. Local predators simply had no time to adapt to the poison of the newcomer. An adult cane toad can kill a large snake, a goanna, or even a crocodile if eaten. Of course, not all toads survive to maturity, but given their lifespan, the density of the amphibians in Australia is still almost 10 times higher than that back at their home. The cane toads huddle in million strong flocks and sweep away everything in their path like live, mindless vacuum cleaners. Even their eyeballs are involved in the process of eating. They help push food into the stomach more efficiently. The toad has an innate immunity to its own poison. Therefore, when there's a shortage of food, hungry adults often eat their youngsters. However, the opposite situation is also quite possible. Ants are one of the few creatures insensitive to the toad's toxins. Their sharp jaws pierce their armor, and teamwork helps them deal with the foreign invader. A few days later, only the bones will be left of the amphibian. However, this is too modest a contribution to the fight, because the number of the invaders today has approached 200 million individuals. They occupy hundreds of thousands of square kilometers of Australia's northern forests, gradually displacing the indigenous inhabitants. The toxins of the cane toad are extremely dangerous for humans, so hundreds of volunteers are struggling to stop the invasion using all available methods. Even special cartridges and traps were invented for this purpose, but given the number of the amphibians, such methods are unlikely to bring noticeable benefits. In addition, scientists used to scatter pieces of meat with small doses of the cane toad's poison in them to develop resistance in Australian predators. Animals would either spit out the poisonous food or develop immunity to the poison. These toads have always been of practical importance among various peoples of the world. For example, the South American Indians smeared their arrowheads with the poison. The Mayan tribes used the toxins of these toads to prepare drugs. In 2008, it was revealed that the poison of the cane toad destroys cancer cells. Studies are still underway and have not yet given any results. The poison does destroy cancer cells in lab mice, but the mice die as well. Cane toads are a very common species, so their population has never been on the verge of extinction. Their abundance is also supported by the fact that these toads can be kept at home. Would you like such a cute toad for a pet? This toad is a unique amphibian that has played its role in people's lives. It demonstrates high adaptability to various living conditions and is one of the most interesting members of its family. Well, that's all for today, friends. Share your opinion about this video in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.